action is being taken tonight against a local doctor with a long history of drug and alcohol problems. He's accused of going after a patient with a hatchet. This is the story Team 10 first broke in October. Troubleshooter Kristen Severance joins us now. What's being done, Kristen? Well, the medical board just sent Dr. Scott Greer this cease practice order saying he can't practice medicine until a final decision is made. Team 10 told you in October that Greer was placed on seven years probation by the board. Greer has had several DUI convictions and has been in and out of rehab for drugs and alcohol. Medical board documents show he chased a former patient with a hatchet and threatened to split the man's head open with an axe. Now on probation, he had to submit to random drug testing and use a portable breathalyzer two times a day. The results of the test are immediately transmitted with a picture through a phone attached to the device. It's the first time the medical board used this technology. Well, this new cease practice order shows that Greer failed an alcohol test just four months into his probation. Under law, he must tell his insurance company and employer about these issues, but not patients. Patient safety advocate Marianne Hollingsworth is pushing to make this a more transparent process. They should know this because they have a right to know how safe their doctors are. They have a right to know what the background of a doctor is more than just, oh, he graduated from such and such medical school. Now, Team 10 reached out to Dr. Greer for a comment, but he has not returned my calls or messages. He has 15 days to respond to this order. Team 10 will be following up on what happens. I'm Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance.